Chang Jian misunderstood Zhang Qian. When graduate Zhang Qian delivered a speech at the graduation ceremony, his girlfriend Ching Xin suddenly appeared and gave him a surprise. He took out the ring in front of everyone and asked Zhang Qian to propose to her. Many people were booing and hesitating Zhang Yan had to he gave Ching Xin face, proposed to her and put on an engagement ring for her, but Zhang Qian felt that the most important thing for him now is to have a career of his own, not to get married. Zhang Qian's mother is a very business-minded self-employed person. Zhang Qian inherited her genes and was interested in making money, but Zhang Qian's father was a high-ranking teacher. Zhang Qian's girlfriend, Ching Xin, is the only daughter of the Cheng group and a wealthy eldest. Now Ching Xin has only love in her heart. She wants to marry Zhang Gan and also wants to show Zhang Gan to her father. Ching Xin is dreaming about getting two people at once, but Zhang Gan is learning skills from the stinky tofu stall. Being chased by his boss, Ching Xin drove to rescue Zhang Gan when he knew it, but when he heard that Zhang Gan was still thinking about opening a stinky tofu shop, she felt he was a little disappointed, and threw him to the outskirts and drove home alone. Up. Zhang Qian finally saved up to 50,000 yuan in venture capital. When he was happy, Cheng Xin asked him to remember to visit his father in the hotel in the afternoon. Zhang Qian wore a suit lent to him by his roommate Kong Hao, and rode an electric bike to the hotel, I almost ran into a person on the road. The person was holding stinky tofu and spilled the stinky tofu on Zhang Yan. Zhang Yan left his address and said that he would pay if he came back. Not long after Zhang Yan went out, he ran into a group of people surrounding an old lady who had fainted. The kind Zhang Yan stopped the car by the side of the road and stopped Ching Xin's father's car. Ching Xin's father rushed to sign the contract. He asked people to transfer the car again. But Zhang Yan felt that life was a matter of life. He asked Ching Xin's father to save people first. While talking about the crowd, he also said that Ching Xin's father had no conscience. Ching Xin's father had no choice but to agree to Ching. Dry request. Zhang Yan rushed to the hotel, but was stopped by the front desk clerk because of the stench. Ching Xin quickly asked Zhang Qian to take a shower in the hotel room. The waiter quickly reported to Mr. Liang, who hurriedly took Xing's in's father. When I walked into the hotel room, I just saw Zhang Qian want to kiss Xing Xin. Xing Xin's father stopped Zhang Yan. Both Zhang Qian and Xing Xin were shocked. Zhang Qian knew that the uncle just now was Xing Xin's father, Cheng Jian. Cheng Jian drove Zhang Gan away without any explanation and Zhang Yan could only walk back to school wearing a hotel bathrobe. Kong Hao looked at Zhang Yan's embarrassment and ridiculed a few words, but when he heard that his suit was lost, he was so angry that Zhang Yan should pay for his suit. The next day Zhang Yan and Kong Hao passed by the girls' dormitory building. They happened to see the person who spilled the stinky tofu on Zhang Yan yesterday. That person was Mo Ziabao. Mo Ziabao was downstairs preparing to confess to a girl. He was a little bit she was timid, but Kong Hao didn't think it was too much to watch the excitement, and encouraged him to confess boldly. As a result, Mo Ziabao shouted and Kong Hao knew that Mo Ziabao liked his girlfriend Yao Jai Aaron. Kong Hao was excited to beat Mo Ziabao, Zhang Gan hurriedly stopped him, and Yao Jai Aaron came after a while, she declined Mo Ziabao. And when she was about to leave, Mo Ziabao stepped on his shoelaces and rushed on. On Yao Jiaren, Yao Jiaren slapped Mo Ziabao in fright, and Kong Hao was so angry that he wanted to teach Mo Ziabao. Several people were arguing, and the security rushed to hear the news. Several people hurriedly fled. The few people didn't know each other. Kong Hao Mo Ziabao and Zhang Yan Chengson had dinner together at the barbecue stall. Zhang Gan saw that Ching Xin was drunk, so he took her back to his bedroom and stayed for one.